culture creates a way for us to share joy and sadness, mourning and celebration. And this is the central theme of a dynamic new dance production entitled Rivers of Emotion. And I was lucky enough to attend a performance. Rivers of Emotion is the third stage production to be presented by Thare, a Cape Town based Bollywood dance troupe. The dancers are all enthusiastic and talented artists dedicated to promoting the Indian performing arts. Having been a dancer for many years myself, I love the analogy that dance is poetry in motion. Much like music, it has the ability to evoke all sorts of emotion and is certainly transcendental. No industry knows and values the power of both dance and music more than Bollywood. And tonight, I'm in for a treat as I get to go behind the scenes of a local Bollywood dance production showcasing at the Artscape Theatre. Anish Valodia created and choreographed Rivers of Emotion and in keeping with Hindu tradition, he led the performers in an invocation of the Lord Ganesha to seek blessing and guidance. Anish, you are the artistic director of Tare. What encouraged you to start the dance company? Tare was formed to provide a platform for dancers to pursue dance on a professional level. How did you come up with the concept for Rivers of Emotion? Rivers of Emotion is a very special project. Uh, it's in collaboration with the Artscape Theatre and forms part of the annual Women's and Humanities Festival. And we wanted to do a production that was um, very real. The creative concept of the production is expressed through a fusion of classic and contemporary dance styles, ranging from folk to hip-hop. and significance of the title Rivers of Emotion. Each piece in the production uh, takes on a specific emotion which we try to portray through choreography and song lyrics. Uh, we wanted something that shows continuity and that shows flow. Anish, you have muscular dystrophy. Please can you tell me a bit more about the disorder and how has it impacted your career? Muscular dystrophy is a degenerative muscular disorder where muscle strength is deteriorating over time. I think it was during my grade 11 year when as a dancer I was very active and I slowly started feeling weakness and limitations when executing choreography. How do you go about conveying the dance steps and the execution that you want to your dancers? Choreography is mainly described um, to the dancers. Um, I try to use my arms as much as possible to indicate our arm movements. We do work with many experienced dancers, dancers that have come from different backgrounds. And because they have this training, they are very familiar with the terms and the techniques that um, I need to see. If anything, the example set by Anish in facing his physical challenges has inspired his performers. I think that it's just amazing that you are able to do what you do. How has the industry reacted to this? Both the industry and patrons and, and the dancers that I have the pleasure to work with, they are very supportive and accepting. Leaving Anish to watch the final dress rehearsal, Karishma headed off to meet the dancers. I'm backstage, I'm about to meet some key performers and find out exactly how does one get ready for a Bollywood extravaganza. The face is essential to the expression of emotion and each dancer must know precisely how to enhance her natural features. Do you think there's a signature Bollywood look? I think golden red. Um, I think it really complements our tones as dancers um, and also with the eyes. We always have bold eyes because a lot of emotion comes from the eyes so that the audience can just receive it much better. Costumes are also essential in creating the mood and context for an individual number, not to mention its visual appeal. I love how colourful and intriguing everything is when it comes to a Bollywood production, especially the costumes. Now, when designing the costume for the show, was there a theme involved? Each folk dance style needs a separate costume. Um, so, as an example, uh, we have a Lavani costume over here. Lavani is a folk dance from the state of Maharashtra in India. Um, this is made from a traditional Lavani sari. Of course, it is pre-stitched as it's for dance production and there are many costumes change is taking place, so we have pre-stitched these. And here we have a royal blue um, and cream and artfully. You can see there's lots of detail, lots of hand beadwork included on our costumes. 
The genre-bending nature of the show meant that there were no off-the-peg solutions to costume requirements. Were they difficult to source or make? Absolutely. Our fabric has come from the furthest corners of Cape Town, from Durban, and some has been flown in from India. The quantity required to stage a Bollywood production is enormous. We have 12 to 14 girls on stage at a time, and they each need to have a blouse and a skirt, and they all need to be embellished. The Thari troupe features senior dancer Pooja Patel. Pooja, what have been some of your highlights from the show? Definitely the choreography. Anisha's choreography is amazing and especially the props he uses. There's different props from um, falling glitter to falling fabric that we use, especially wings. Even with a cast of 50, the sheer number of items on the program and the spectacular variety of styles meant that performers didn't have much time to prepare backstage. And what have been some of the challenges? Definitely the different um, costume changes we have to go through from one to the other. I'm in about five costume changes during the first half alone. When the actual performance took to the stage, there was absolutely no hint of the challenges faced by the choreographer and the cast. And the polished production held the audience enthralled. The hit track, Chama Chama, evoked not only a time-honored Bollywood tradition, but also the sense of hope that comes with rain. Well, that certainly was spectacular. There's nothing quite like a Bollywood production to get your heart racing and your emotions flowing. Well, the costumes are fantastic. I mean, you can see like there's a lot of bright colors and like amazing designs. And you can see they've also used like the lighting and the stage decor like to their advantage. So it's really blended in quite well. It's a fantastic, fantastic production.